In this video, we take a look at five options in the Serato setup that you'll want to be sure to check out. Find out which ones those are, coming up. Thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. Now let's get into the video. So Serato DJ is a pretty straightforward piece of software when you first open it up. But in the setup screen, there are a bunch of options there that can make life a lot easier as a DJ that many DJs don't even know about. So let's take a look at five of those. First, in the DJ Preferences tab, you get a whole bunch of options. And here's two that I think are crucial to have on at all times. First would be the Show Beat Jump Control, which I've done a couple videos on Beat Jump and why I think it's one of the best features in Ser Serato DJ. So let's take a look once again. Here is the deck section without the beat jump controls enabled. You just get your auto loops right here. When you go back and turn those on, that second row of auto loops turns into beat jump controls, but you still get your auto loop up here as well. So you don't lose any features and you gain an extra one. The second would be to make sure that you have instant doubles turned on. Instant doubles is crucial, especially if something goes wrong with the deck, say your needles go bad, your vinyl goes bad, uh, the CDs are scratched, something happens where you need to use just one deck and uh, that's all you have to DJ with. Instant doubles can save lives in a lot of sense, or save gigs I should say, where you can just play a song on one deck and then transfer it to the other and it'll continue playing uh, seamlessly. Uh, this has saved my butt a ton of times. There's also DJs that just play on one deck and just instant double to the other deck the entire night. So, I mean, it's definitely a very important uh, feature in Serato DJ and was in Serato Scratch Live as well. Next, we're going to go to the Library and Display tab. And we're going to go ahead and click on this right here, Reset Played Tracks on Exit. Now, if we go back to this screen, you'll see that... Uh, this song right here is blue. It's blue because I played it the last uh, last time I opened Serato DJ. In the past, in Serato Scratch Live, to clear all your played songs, you'd have to go to History and then hit this Reset button, like that. And notice it turns back to, to gray. But if we go to Setup and click this box, every time we exit Serato DJ, it'll automatically reset all those played songs. So when you open it back up, everything will be gray. Now I know there's plenty of DJs out there that never reset their played songs, but I know for me in my workflow, I'm, it's always good in a visual um, representation of when I load a track and I play it, if I'm scrolling through a crate and I don't know what to play next or I'm kind of lost or I'm just kind of searching around, knowing which songs I've played and which songs I haven't played just gives me an extra sense of relief. Uh, just knowing that, okay, just looking for one color in particular instead of like seeing uh, all the songs blue or all the songs gray, just knowing that it's there that I know exactly I'm only looking at songs that are gray and not blue. So having that feature to automatically reset on exit is great because it saves me a step when used to have to hit the history tab and reset every time I open Serato Scratch Live or now Serato DJ. So that's a, another great feature. The next one would be this one right here, show tempo matching display. Now let's take a look at the screen again. In Serato Scratch Live, you saw these waveforms right here, but there was one at the top. Let me go ahead and just load some songs real quick. So you'll have the, the two waveforms here, the main waveforms, the complete overview, and this beat matching waveform. But in Serato Scratch Live, there was one uh, waveform at the top that was missing in Serato DJ in some earlier versions. But now you have the option to bring that back. So if we go ahead and click this box for show tempo matching display, you'll see that right here at the top, you get the tempo matching uh, display back, which is great. The times that I, I would use this the most is during transition tracks where it jumps from one BPM to the other. And if you haven't beat gridded your songs to match the, the, the BPM change, that the number's kind of off. And yes, you should use your ears, and yes, I do. but in clutch situations where I'm mixing really fast and I just need to get it done and I need to make sure it's on point, this helps out a lot because it helps you beat match quickly using your ears and your eyes at the same time. 
So that's another option that I always make sure I have clicked on. Uh, that what, like I said, was missing in previous Serato DJ versions, but I'm very happy that they brought it back. Last, we have this one right here, the deck BPM display. One decimal place or two decimal places? Now, I have it currently on one decimal place. So if you look, you, you see that it's 97.0, or let me just go ahead and pull this up so you can see the 97.7. I get one decimal place to the right. Now, if, you were, if you're coming from Tractor Pro or Tractor Scratch Pro, you'll be more familiar with a two-point decimal uh, system. Now this, if I go ahead and click it, you notice now instead of 0.7, it's 0.75. I will say, uh, me personally, if I'm DJing on vinyl, because of the the, the uh, wow and flutter of turntables and just how they operate, you're not going to get a very, very tight BPM uh, for most turntables. But if you're in HID mode or you're on CDJs, this BPM really won't fluctuate as much as it, they were on turntables. So this option is, a, I would say, more for controller or uh, CDJ users more than uh, vinyl DJs. It's nice to get really precise in there. I mean, you can always nudge and uh, get things beat matched, but if you're one of those guys that are super OCD about matching the BPMs um, as precise as possible, it's nice to have that option of having two decimal places. And especially if you're coming from uh, Tractor Pro, it's nice to have the option that uh, have that familiarity of having two BPM places. So those were five options in the Serato setup that you'll want to make sure you check out. So question of the day, which options are you going to make sure you use? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And as always, if you found this video useful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. See you next time.